I am sorry about your wife, Hadrick. I wish it had not come to that. You got nothing to apologize for. She was dying and you put her down. Hadrick, it is only proper to grieve for Mira. I can't imagine your pain. I've never been close to anyone. I don't want to talk about my wife. Dead is dead and gone is gone. Do you want work done or not? This is what fell out of the sky. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news, but I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. My dearest Hadric, do not feel despair, my love. You did everything you could. Our time together meant more than words can say. But in the end, fate is a cruel mistress. Your strength is needed to end the horrors that beset this world. My final wish is that you find your path. Love always. Mira. Tell me everything you remember, stranger. Every detail. Falling. Fire. A sword of great power. It was part of me, but it shattered into three pieces as I fell. It is vital that we find those pieces. I believe the sword made whole will restore your memory. The goatmen are rampaging through the fields. Could the sword have anything to do with that? Of course, of course! Just as the dead rose around the stranger, the sword pieces drove the goatmen to madness. The goatmen won't stand in my way. I'll get the sword. The Herodrim were powerful mages gathered together by the Archangel Tyriel to defeat the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal. They devoted themselves fully to the destruction of the Demon Lords, and left behind valuable tomes and teachings. How did you become the last of the Herodrim? My ancestor was the leader of the Herodrim, Jared Cain. When the Herodrim died out, their tomes stayed in my family. I was thrilled by tales of the Herodrim as a little boy, but it wasn't until I returned to them as an adult that I realized they contained deeper truths. Material is the angel of justice. He has been helping mankind for generations, though he is forbidden to do so in any direct manner. Long ago, the high heavens and the burning hells made a pact as a result of the Sin War that they would not interfere in our world. But the demons have obviously broken this pact. Why can Tyrion not involve himself directly? The Angiris Council, the Archangels that lead Heaven, almost destroyed our world once to keep the demons from spreading their corruption upon it. If Tyriel were to act directly, it would alert the Council to the demons' activities here and imperil us all. Can you remember anything else? Only that there were surges of light and a kind of pain. How do you fare now? The emptiness gnaws at me. It is a constant frustration. Calm yourself. The sword should help you remember.
What was I May the gods who abandoned us come to your aid. After King Leoric went mad, no one lived in these parts for a long time. Then adventurers were lured here by tales of riches to be found inside the old cathedral. New Tristram started when some traveling merchants decided to set down here to sell to the adventurers. It grew quickly. Lots of good farming in these parts. Well, before all of this started. I don't know what would have happened to this town without Deckard Cain. That Templar you brought to town may seem grim to most, but I think he's hiding a good heart. Not only saved Cain, but got our blacksmith back to work. Well done! I can hardly believe it, but the falling star is a man. When Uncle Deckard realized this, he was crushed. I know he was hoping for something more miraculous. So this is how it ends? They dragged my cart from the road, but for what? I can't get it repaired. Might as well dig a hole and die in it. If that will make you feel better, perhaps you should. Did you know that Leah has traveled a better part of this world? She's even been to Chaldeum. But I bet you've seen things that would shock even her. There's a sword here, we will find it. I was able to trace some carrion bats back to one of their nests. What I found shocked me. The nest itself is a living organism. A mature bat that has been mutated by the darkest of magics. I no longer doubt that demonic forces have corrupted these creatures. The world is a safer place. Some time ago, I revealed that the Khazra, or <laughs> Goatmen, were originally humans, until the Vizieri corrupted them. For many years, these creatures were simple and lethargic. These days have ended. Khazra attacks are widely reported, and the number of fatalities is higher than anything in my records. I'm just warming up! Glow. The piece of the sword I'm looking for must be in this cave. A dark coven has killed her. A dark coven has formed in Tristram, and I fear that their superstitious vibe. We must hurry with the ritual! Manda will be here soon! This sword piece glows with the stranger's magic. Who are you to take what is mine? Yours? I believe you are mistaken. Regardless, I have claimed it. I am Magda, and I lead this coven. The shard is mine. To hell with you, witch! Very well. Let the games begin. Well fought, but you will never possess the next piece. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. A 
dark coven has formed in Tristram, and I fear that their superstitious violence may damn the whole region. I discovered very little during my eavesdrop, except that the word Magda was repeated several times in their chants. Oh well, now I journey to the safety of my home, where I may put these worries behind me. We are not the only ones seeking the sword. I had to take the first piece from a witch named Magda and her crazed minions. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leia. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. Magda taunted me, claiming to know where the next piece is. She said it fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leia. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leia, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. This fragment seems very old, and very powerful. Indeed, it feels familiar to me, though the rest is still unclear. Your sword would seem to mark you as a great champion. If that is what I am, then my strength has gone with my memory. Perhaps when the sword is complete, it will restore both. Magda's coven is a remnant of an ancient religion called the Triune that worshipped the prime evils as gods. But the prime evils died 20 years ago. Who does the coven worship now? The last two evils, Asmodan and Belial, remain. And if either of them are behind this coven, then our troubles are only beginning. You know it's not polite to go through other people's things, don't you? That Templar you brought to town may seem grim to most, but I think he's... This is my room. What? You're not really thinking of reading my journal, are you? Uncle Decker believes the key to unlocking the stranger's memory is reassembling his sword. I wish I could say this was another of Uncle's crazy theories, but I can't deny that these ominous events are starting to really scare me. times in my life, and only when I was in grave danger. Something rises up from deep within me and, well, I can't really explain it.
didn't see that coming, did you? Well, unimaginable! You there! Please help! They're going to kill my friend! Thieves are going to kill my friend if we don't do something! Help me break these bonds and see for yourself! What do they want with your friend? She's just a farmer's daughter, Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. He's deserted you. Just give it over! My sweet love will save me. Release the girl. The relic belongs to her. You actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fine, you fools. We'll kill the both of you. You won't get away from us this time! This isn't over. The rest of the Thieves' Guild will find you. Here's the relic, my love. I hid it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious of us. But that won't matter once we're married. It won't be long, right? Of course, my dear. Soon we will settle down to a quiet life of tilling the fields and raising brats... Uh, children. But first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my friend here to do so. You're coming with me? Yes, yes. You look like you know a lot about markets. Now, lead the way. What? Relic is a fake. God, I should have known. You seem like you could use a helping hand. And I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. Please tell me that you're not considering this criminal's proposal. Ah, there you are. What have you betrothed? Betrothed? <laughs> Do I look like the marrying kind to you? By the way, my name is Lyndon. I used to love traveling, seeing the world. But the tomes say of Alaric and this temple is not encouraging. You must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Deckard told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. <laughs> Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple. But only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what you truly are. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. The warriors rest and the crypt of the ancients. Within them reside the keys to our sacred temple.
pall of ancient doom hangs upon these woods. Are these Alaric's people? No, these are malevolent spirits. Uncle Deckard called these flying creatures death of wings. Not today, monster! I don't have enough...